hey guys welcome back to my channel if you just seen me hi my name is cindy i could look to have you you're most definitely welcome and a happy new year guys this is officially my first video in 2023 on my channel so officially i just want to welcome you guys to the new year and thank you guys for your love and support on my channel in 2022 i can't wait to continue doing this with you guys so today just like you clicked on the title and a thumbnail today i'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial or a makeup video showing you how to do your base for a full coverage makeup i know a lot of persons or a lot of people are into full coverage and in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to achieve a full coverage makeup base without having the cakey makeup having your face looking too cracky or having your makeup separate after a long wear this makeup tutorial i'm going to go in depth showing you how to achieve a flawless full coverage base that is going to last for eight hours or more without causing the makeup to separate even after a long wear or after a long time and if you're interested let's begin so first off my face is hydrated is moisturized and during this season winter season in nigeria is hamatan and during this season from skin i usually dry my skin i am oily skin i am of oily combination skin sometimes i tend to be oily i tend to be in the combination side sometimes and during winter i tend to have drier skin and for this you have to make sure that you hydrate your skin properly or you have to make sure that your skin is well hydrated i can't overemphasize this enough and moving on to primer i'm going to prime my face you want to make sure that the primer you're using is good for your skin and does not clog up your pores and guys i'm not going to be focusing more on the product i'm going to focus or emphasize more on the technique and i'm going to use a pore minimizer and i'm going to apply a, a generous amount and focusing that in the areas of my face where i tend to produce all the most just in my on my large pores yeah we don't want too much product on our face that is going to clog our pores we're trying to prevent that especially in the season or in the period so i'm going to use the less leftover of the product on my nose press it in all right so that is that um i've applied the pore minimizer in the areas of my face where i have large pores and i tend to produce all the most and allowing that to sit in for a while next i'm gonna go in with the foundation depending on the on preference and the cov kind of coverage you prefer or you're going for you can decide to use a medium coverage foundation or a full coverage foundation or a lightweight foundation and guys let me know if you want to see a video on how to use a light coverage foundation to achieve a full coverage base and i'll, I'll be more than willing to make that kind of video or do that kind of video for you especially for people who love lightweight foundation or lightweight coverage but still want to achieve a full coverage beat i'm going to be using this foundation and this is full coverage foundation this, this is jujuvia's place foundation i'm going to use this one but i love the finish of this foundation because it doesn't clog up your pores and it's very gentle on the skin i'm going gonna go in with this amount of foundation to apply my foundation i'm going in with a round foundation brush and i'm going to dab this on my skin and work it in yeah this foundation is light but i'm going to make sure to make it work but i love the coverage of this foundation part of achieving a full coverage foundation you want to make sure that you're going in with a foundation brush if you're going for a fuller coverage because that tends to give you more coverage as opposed to going in with a beauty sponge because with a beauty sponge it soaks up all of the product and gives you more like a skin like finish so i'm just pushing that into the skin blending it all the way down to my neck 
because you don't want to miss out on any part i know we look all crazy but <laughs> we're going to make it work after applying the foundation i made sure not to apply much foundation on the areas where i have large pores and this is what i'm going to do i'm going to tap take the foundation brush and dab in a light amount or a generous amount and press it in this area and lightly dabbing it in this area that way it's not going to clog up your pores or separate <music> this foundation i love it a little goes a long way and you can see how much coverage we have only from that dabbing you can see the difference between this side and this side i'm going to repeat and do the same on this side so this is what we currently have and next on i'm going to apply foundation on my nose area because i did not apply any foundation on my nose area because we do not want the foundation to separate in that area so the leftover on the foundation brush i'm going to use that to apply on my nose and i'm lightly dabbing that this is what we currently have move on to the next phase and next i'm going to use a concealer to highlight my under eye area placing the concealer in the areas where i want highlights so this concealer is a hydrating concealer i don't want to go in with a full coverage concealer so it doesn't freeze up on the under eye area i'm going to blend from my forehead because i want to allow the concealer on my under eye to sit in for a while so i get a bit of coverage and i'm using a damp beauty sponge to blend it now you can use a, a brush to blend your concealer depending on preference but for me i love using a beauty sponge to blend my concealer it just blends and gives me a clean finish i'm going to blend my under eye area and i'm using the same beauty sponge so i'm going to blend and push the concealer into my skin and spread it i'm only concentrating the concealer in the in my under eye area because that is where i want coverage i'm not bringing it towards my the apples of my cheek because i don't want to clog up my pores we already have foundation on that area and we don't want too much product or too much going on repeat the same process on the other side of my face so now we have this coverage moving on i'm going to go in with a cream blush i'm not using a cream contour or a liquid contour i'm going to use a blush and i'm going to use this one I'm going to apply that in the areas where i usually apply my blush and place it here so again i'm not bringing the blush towards where i have large pores i'm trying to skip bringing the blush towards that side so it doesn't clog up my pores or settle in my large pores I'm going to blend this in towards my hairline this is what we're currently looking like i'm going to go in with my foundation brush to blend everything together blending off the harsh lines so i'm going to start from this side of my face Pushing it into the skin. Repeat the same on this side of my face. Now we have this. I'm going to go in with another layer of concealer for my under eye just to give me a brightened under eye look. And you can omit or skip this step. I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. This is really light and just, okay, that amount. I'm going back in with my beauty sponge to blend everything in. Again, concentrating the concealer only on my under eye area. So this is what we currently have all we've applied all of the cream products so you want to make sure that you apply all your all of your cream product from your foundation 
to your concealer and then to your contour or your bronzer and blush and highlight or any other cream product that you want to apply before going over to set your makeup using powder to set everything in place or to set the cream product and i'm going to use a powder and i'm going to be mixing two powders together and here is the mixture of the both powder i just love mixing my powder to take some powder and tap off the excess now for the fun part you want to make sure that your under eye you blend off the creases or the crease lines for your under eye area and i'm going to push the concealer or push it up this is my beauty sponge because once you set your under eye with powder that's it there's no going back and you want to be gentle when doing this take your time don't be in a rush i'm going to set going with some powder tap off the excess and press it on my skin okay this is what we're currently looking like i'm going to repeat the exact same process on this other side of my face so this is what my under eye is currently looking like so i'm going to go over to set the rest of my face where i applied concealer and i'm going to set my forehead using a light amount of powder and for this you want to make sure that the powder you're using to set your face is not you're not using too much powder just lightly dusting that on your face or dusting that on the areas where you applied cream product where you want to set the same on my nose because for my nose area you want to make sure or on your nose area you want to make sure that the product you're applying once again is not a lot lightly dust that on my nose so this is what we're currently looking like I'm going to go back to contour my face also add some bronzer to bring structure to my face because now we're currently looking flat or too ashy and we don't want that i'm going to go over with a contour actually set my forehead okay my forehead is looking good and i like that notice i still haven't set my cream blush because i want that my want my blush to sit in for a while so i, I still have some coverage because one thing with setting cream products when they are not dried if you set them immediately it's going to move and cake up on your face or separate and you don't want that you want to make sure that it doesn't separate underneath your makeup i'm going to allow that to, to sit in for on my skin for a while before going over to set it while well, i also set the other sides of my face or set the rest of my face i'm going to set my blush now i'm going to use this shade of blush tap up the excess and press that into my skin and i love the illusion of having a cream blush underneath the makeup because it still gives some hydrating and glow underneath the makeup even after setting it which i love to see so this is what we're currently looking like and you don't want to leave your makeup or you leave your base like this you want to make sure that you set everything in place or you blend everything in place to take off the harsh lines <music> i'm going to go in with the all over face powder to set my entire face and guys i still love this one i got a new one actually but i want to make do with this one because i love this powder so i'm gonna be mixing two shades together i still have a good amount left but i was able to restock this powder okay that's kind of light i'm going to blend it down towards my neck area everything down a bit because whoa <laughs> we look we look <laughs> i'm also going to blend my forehead area using the same powder i'm going to swirl it round i'm always excited when i see this powder because i love this powder so much 
and when i was able to get this i'm like yay i got my powder is my all-time favorite powder like hmm powder is just so good like guys look at my forehead everything looks all blended and as you can see the blush again we still have the glow and the hydration underneath the blush underneath a blush even after setting it this blush is super creamy and i love it i love the shine but not too much i'm also going to blend that now and i'm going to lightly dust my powder into this powder so it doesn't take away from the blush just to take a bit of the shine don't want to look shiny now you can see this difference on the side and the side like this looks fresh and clean and well blended all put together and i'm loving it okay moving on to blend this other side to make it look like this and to blend my under eye area i'm also going to be using the lighter powder shade on from this powder palette just going to lightly dust that and blend everything in together now i love how my base is looking it's just so beautiful so yeah this is what we're currently looking like and i love the base i love what we're looking like for blush you guys know i talked about blush and i love a blush we share so i'm gonna be using this one from milani and i'm just going to tap this and tap off the excess place it on the side of my face yes i love it i'm also tr trying to avoid the areas where i have large pores so i'm just concentrating it on my cheekbone area or my cheek area this is beautiful going with my powder to blend everything together my powder brush rather blending everything together but i'm gonna go in with my highlight and i'm going to be using this one i'm going to use the product left in the cup of the highlights back of the excess and just whoa i love it lightly sweep it and blend it up and i'm just lightly blending the highlight on my face so as you can see it doesn't move or is not moving any of the product it's just blending into the other product we applied i'm also going to blend it to this side of my face and also blend it here and for my nose i'm going to lightly dust that on my nose so my cupid bow now i'm going to use a setting spray this is a matte finish and i'm going to spray this all over on my face rather bath on it <laughs> or bath with it because i do it a lot it. okay i'm going to allow that to sit in for a while this is going to set in all of the powder products that we just applied on our face set my other i love going over with a powder foundation and you can skip this step or you can do this step before setting your face but i love to go over with this one i'm gonna be using this powder foundation from maybelline this is their maybelline fit me foundation super stay rather and is super full coverage i'm going to use that and tap off the excess and lightly dust it on my under eye area can you guys see the difference between applying the powder or going over with the powder i don't know if you can see it but you can see that this place looks kind of lighter and 
this looks more like skin I'm just lightly pressing this to my skin and I'm pushing it and blending it alongside I'm also lightly dusting that in my smile lines area all right so this is the finished look this is what we're currently looking like and yes i did not go over using a blotting powder because i already went over using a powder foundation which is also a full coverage foundation so there was no need going over with the blotting powder but in the event or in the case where you didn't go in with any powder after setting your face you can also use a blotting powder to set your under eye area or in the areas where you tend to produce all the most but for me i skipped using the blotting powder because i didn't want my face to become too cakey or i, di I didn't want my makeup to look all caked up or be look too cakey i still want to have that coverage and still give me a good base without causing my makeup to separate or causing my makeup to look cakey or look too heavy so if you follow through this technique or if you follow through this process your makeup will not look too heavy it will not look cakey and also not separate even after a long wear and really, i love this look so much and i love doing this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did if you did let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below also let me know one or two things that you grabbed in this video or in this tutorial and also let me know if you would like to see more tutorials like this going forward and also if you're not yet subscribed to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button down below you also turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and check out my other videos to stay connected have yourself a happy new year celebration Mwah.